G'day friends, welcome to today's YouTube video. My name is James, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, today's video will be brought to you by the allergy attack I have been having since yesterday. So if I take a moment to sneeze off screen, thank you for understanding. I, I have to film this video. I, if you don't know, I've been juggling two jobs at this point. I'm still very much in my JLB creative world, but I'm also currently performing again and I'm in rehearsals and it's just been really interesting to try and juggle those uh, schedules and I'm also going to Australia like next week so <laughs> I've got a lot to do and I don't really have time to be fussing about waiting for these allergies to go away so my apologies in advance but let's get into it. This is the November set of Collage Club printables. I'll leave all the info on Collage Club below as per usual. This is the Daisy Ween mini set. I am so excited about this and let me just be fully transparent. When I was posting all of these throughout the month, I did not think it would take as much effort as it would to digitize them. And I got right to the point of like setting the template up in Procreate and I almost abandoned the whole thing. All of that to say, I'm really glad I didn't because this is my favorite. Well, I mean, yes, I'm just going to say it. This is my favorite sheet in Collage Club this month and probably one of my favorite things I've done in a long, long time. The Daisy Ween images are all in here as well. So this is pretty big, this set of printables. There are eight, but I've kind of mixed it up a little bit. So it's not just all Daisy Ween, even though my October was pretty much just Daisy Ween. And congratulations to the many people that completed Daisy Ween and all of the people that participated. I'm going to get around. I haven't done this yet, but hopefully by the time you're seeing this, I've done it. <laughs> I'm going to get around to uh, posting and reposting everything that I've still yet to do and wrapping all of that nicely up on Instagram and Facebook. So thank you for that. It was really, really wonderful. And uh, we're going to go through some of these. I've got to film a flip as well. But this is the digital version of the minis. This is the entire set of 31. I've put the logo down here as well and color coordinated it. I did them all in a yellow color story, which is actually kind of difficult to get a nice kind of variety of yellow shades that print, uh, you know, with a good variety as well. Yellow is not a color I even work with very often. So I think it actually turned out pretty nice. And I got, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm pretty sure I got every skin tone on the planet <laughs> into these set of daisies, which I was very happy about because I uh, struggled for a long time to find a good set of Pantone colors. Well, I don't even know why I chose Pantone, because it's not like I print that way, but um, a good set of skin tone colors, and I couldn't really find them, so I ended up making a bunch of my own, and I really loved them. Uh, they printed out really beautifully, which is always the goal, isn't it? When you're fiddling about with your printer settings for Collage Club, I thought it was wonderful. Anyway, Let's get on to the Daisy Ween set of images. There are a few little ones in here that weren't from the challenge to, you know, illustrate the entire book, but the rest are all from the book. And I put every single one in here. They're a decent size. Obviously, I couldn't put in the full page because then there'd be 31,000 pages of Collage Club. But I think this is a good size, especially if you're putting it on the silhouette files and you're cutting them out like I have them here cut out as um, sticker you know, essentially stickers. Um, there you go, something like that. They do size down even a little bit smaller just to fit in the registration box. So I think this will be great. I've put a whole bunch of minis together for this as well because I wanted to use those for my five-year journal, but I'm looking at these and I think I might end up using these. I'm not quite sure, maybe I'll do both. Anyway, these are all Daisy Weens. So I'll kind of skip over these a little bit because I'm planning on doing a flip video and then I'll talk more in detail about what I was thinking for each Daisy. And thank you again to everyone who participated. It was really, really fun. This is one of my favorite challenges that I've done in a long, long, long time. Probably one of my favorite challenges overall, to be honest. Um, this is the Daisy Ween, the last page. You can see the last ones are on there. They're not really chronological, but these were some of the final ones. And I've just put, again, a few more random daisies in there. These were from, like, this, this one we did on Instagram Live, this little rabbit. This was our first test when we got the book. And some little bits that I have. I have a whole Collage Club file in Photoshop that is just kind of all the things I've ever scanned in my life, <laughs> like all of my journal stuff. So sometimes I pull really random things from there just to add to little bits and pieces, like little spaces that I have. Uh, so sometimes if you see things like that, I've pulled that from that, that catalog of just random journal images that I have. And I have a whole bunch of collage sheets on the go. So that did come in really handy this month when my schedule got a little tighter. This is Donna, the baby biker 
illustration that we did on Instagram Live. I was really happy to include her. To anyone who is looking for the Instagram Live, I didn't manage to get that all sorted. So I know I went with the literal intention of doing a like postable stream. You know, a lot of the Instagram Lives I just let go of. Um, but this one I wanted to add to my blog and then I got a call at the end of the live stream and it glitched out and it just, it was kind of a mess. So that one didn't end up going up. And my apologies to anyone who was looking for that. It's kind of dated now. So hopefully no one was looking for it. But uh, I'll try and make my best efforts to get on Instagram Live again for some more live streaming. Here is the whole month uh, in a mini version. These were the illustrations that I did. So I've included everything. I wanted you to have at least everything in case you wanted it. I don't know if you want to pop these in your journal, if you were inspired by any of them, or if you liked that, you know, we were working alongside each other, kind of like a collaboration thing going on. I'm not quite sure. But since it's, uh, you know, something that we all did together, I wanted you to have access to all of it. So a mini version, and I'm probably going to use these for my five-year journal, actually, because they're the originals, right? But I love the colored mini ones as well. I don't know. Look at all of that. Can you believe it? Seriously, when I went to go and do this, even when I had set up the template and I got six, I did six of them because there was a like, six on a page and then another six on another page and blah, 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 because all the layers in Procreate can get a little fussy. I did the first six and I was like, I can't do this. I cannot finish it. <laughs> it's going to take so long. Um, and it did. It took days, but I think totally worth it. It's always worth it once it's done, isn't it? And because I didn't want to leave you hanging and just give you a whole bunch of, first of all, grayscale images, because that's not always my fantasy, uh, is to have all black and white. But I didn't want to give you just Daisy Ween, which was a lot of that content. I've added these two sheets in here as well, which brings the total to eight uh, collage sheets this month. This one being a, like I said, like a themed page that I work on. I've explained this before, but just in case you didn't know, all of those things I told you I scanned, I drag them into one file. And if I notice a pattern emerging, I'll pull them into another page and I'll start creating that spread. So this one was just a whole bunch of really beautifully colored images, like lots of variety in the colors of the image. And so I have some one line contour portraits that I've done for, um, like old art journaling, the magic uh, lessons that we did. This is, this was an old stamp in illustration, little uh, sample piece that I did for creativation, I think. And this was from, does anyone remember those little journals? We had the traveler's notebooks from the playtest Patreon boxes. These were in there and I colored these in with Crayola at a, at a little thing. Anyway, uh, I had those in there. I thought those were beautiful colors. This is from my old five, uh, a five journal the MD paper? Yeah. I think it's in the White Grid Journal. Do you remember that White Grid Journal? I love those. And this is really, really old school. Like I'm talking like 2017, I think. So this one's about five years old, but I was hand making washi tape strips. Do you remember those? <laughs> Goodness, we've come a long way. And uh, yeah, I was illustrating the other part of them. This was in an old journal. I've always just liked it. And yeah, I thought it all kind of worked together. This is a bit more recent. All of these little bits and pieces were from Collage Club. I think I made a video about this too, collaging it all together. And I think you've had one of the illustrations I made from this in a different set of sheets. But this was the actual collage I made in my journal. And I just, I love these colors. These were the colors that I took to Paris and London, the pencils. And they just made such a beautiful color story. So I wanted to put that in there. This is from an old passport journal. An old tag. I haven't put a tag in here for a long time. These were stamped out faces from the concept stamp set. This is from that five year. Uh, I keep saying five year journal. It's not. It's an MD paper journal. I want to say five year because it's A5 size. A few little stars just to uh, kind of work in more of that color story. And then this tiny little bit down here is a bunch of paper cut collage for um, Virtual Voyage 4, the Lamplight Cruise. This is inside out. Bing bong sadness and joy back there. So I just loved all the colors in this and I felt because everything else was so grayscale when I went to all of the sheets that I'd been working on I pulled this one and said great let me just put the most explosion of color that I had just in case no one was looking for that. Um, I encourage you every month to download all of the sheets put them away on your computer put them in a hard drive or put them on a file somewhere wherever you need to um, and just print out the ones that you think you're going to use. I print out everything because I show you but I also use a ton of them anyway. But if you're someone that prints out a lot and doesn't end up using a lot, my my suggestion to you, maybe for this month, is to print two two sheets, like two of your favorites from the set, and uh, and just work from there. 
if you end up using them all, obviously you can go and print more, right? But uh, just something to think about. You don't always need to print every single sheet. You may end up wanting it later. And I don't know. For me, it's easier just to print it all at once. But <laughs> whatever you need, just a, a bit of advice, unsolicited. And then Christmas, because it is November. And I wanted to make sure that you at least had something to get yourself into Christmas. Most of Christmas will come in December's collage sheet pack. But... This is some older stuff. These are from 2017 as well, I think, these old reindeers. I love those. You'll notice there's a lot of doubles with things. So this this is from my Australian travel journal last year. This was the Santa Claus that was in my journal, and this was the Santa Claus that was in my nephew Elijah's journal. I wanted to give you both of those just because I think they're different. They're same, same, but different. It was kind of like twinsies things going on. And then these were like my little sample that I was doing for... A page in 10 video and then the actual one that I did for the video. Same with the gingerbread cookie, uh, just kind of like the ones that I was prepping with and the ones I ended up actually teaching. I don't think I gave you those last year so I felt like I wanted to add those in. Elijah did his candy cane as well. Don't tell him I'd have to split my profits with him. <laughs> I'll give him two dollars when I go to Australia. I'm literally seeing him next week. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a whole bunch of stuff for him to make another travel journal. He loves his journaling. Hopefully still, fingers crossed. If not, I'll just, I'll get his little baby sister to do it. <laughs> I'll have Savannah's handprints all through my journal. It'll be great. Uh, this is from an old illustration as well. I don't think I ever shared that one. This was another page in 10. This was from my old uh, traveler's notebook, the one that had the Tomorrow River, the lightweight Tomorrow River paper. And I loved uh, that journal. It was all full. It's so funny when I looked back at it the other day, I was, it just felt like it was a completely different time of my life. I... I remember being so specific about how I approach those pages and I just don't even feel like that's me anymore. But, you know, when you look back at it and you're, you're fondly looking back at it, you think maybe I should try that again. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe in November, December, everything's going to switch over for me again, just for pure nostalgic sake. Nostalgia? Nostalgic. Nostalgia's sake. Whatever. And a little Grinch. I was working on a few other illustrations. I might save those for December if I can get those finished. But I've been doing... Oh, here's some here. These are just little templates I made. And I've been doing Mary Blair-esque inspired uh, Who's from Whoville. And I just love them. I think they're so cute. But I didn't have enough time to actually work on these and finish them this month. So I will consider putting that in for December if I can uh, continue to work on that and get that finished. And I think that's everything. These are your eight sheets for the month. I hope you have a wonderful time using them. Um, if you print these out on glossy sticker paper, obviously they make nice stickers. But if you print these out on matte or just regular paper, all of these become little colouring pages. And I also have to get my hardcover Daisy Ween illustrated as well. I've got to figure out how I want to do that. Anyway, that's for another video. Not for now. I hope you enjoy Collage Club. All the information is in the description box below. For those of you who made it this far and don't know what that is, I'll give you my quick little elevator speech. Uh, it is five sheets per month minimum. Sometimes we go more, but usually I stick to five. Uh, and they're all US letter sized. If I make silhouette files, like the, the print and cut files, I will give those as well. They're not guaranteed, but I do make them every month anyway, just because I like to use mine as stickers. I usually print mine on sticker paper and then put them through the silhouette. And then I've got a whole bunch of ephemera that I can use pretty simply. I don't have to mess about with glue or scissors or anything, no fussy cutting. It's just really quick. That has made me use more collage sheet elements than I've ever used in my entire life. So I'm kind of stuck with that now. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to change. Uh, sometimes it's, it's nice to print things on other types of paper. Like I've tried it on vellum before and I've tried it on uh, like transparent. I, I guess that's still sticker paper. I've tried it on regular paper before, but I really just don't need to print on that anymore. Because even if I want to be able to work on top of it, I have a nice... Uh, matte version that I can use. Although sometimes the matte sticker papers don't behave like regular copy paper. So if I really do want to color something in, I will just print it on regular copy paper for the best kind of experience. Uh, yeah, that's kind of everything. It's $5 per month. The subscription will give you access to the current month and then the three months beforehand. So anytime you join, there's always four months available, which means at the very least 20 uh, collage sheets, which is just huge. We haven't changed it since it op like since we started it. 
Um, I'm thinking about trying to reformat a little bit of it for next year, but I'm still not sold on the ideas that I've got, especially since we're going into Playtest Patreon again. Um, things have just been floating around in my mind. But in any case, if there are any that are, you enjoy from the back catalog, all of those are available on Etsy. However, once they're on Etsy, they're available for individual purchase at $15 for the set. So the most economical way for us to share in all of it is in the Collage Club subscription. And I have a bunch of people that sign up uh, one month and then take the four months, unsubscribe, come back four months later. Uh, so if you want to do that to save yourself some money, absolutely A-OK -okay with me. As far as usage and permissions go, you have a general like use license uh, just to, I think it's up to a hundred handmade items. So you can use these images uh, for stuff like that. I'm pretty open with what people want to use the images for. So if you're someone that makes uh, goods to sell and you want to contact me about some of that, you're always free to go ahead and do that. But for the most part, uh, yeah, we just have a great time sharing all of this stuff. And I especially like being able to share with you all the things that we kind of do together collaboratively. I mean, this Daisy challenge was kind of huge, but also like the Instagram live streams or things that I teach on a YouTube chat, like a YouTube video. And, you know, maybe you've done that lesson as well. I like to be able to have a place where I can put all of that so that you can share in that as well. So this is kind of where all of that lives. And yeah, there's a whole back catalog as well for 2021. And there's a whole back catalog for 2022 as well. If you just click on the page, those are viewable. You don't have to join a subscription to view everything that's in the back catalog. There's literally, it's like a huge list of every sheet that we've done since we started. So you can see the journey we've had so far. It's actually kind of insane when I look back at how many there are. <laughs> and it's only been a year and a half, like almost two years. Uh, it seems it seems like there's a million sheets in there which is great. I love them. I love using them. And they definitely help just bring a lot of that art into my journal when I don't have a lot of time. And also for me, someone that like already did this, right? Like all of these drawings exist in a journal that I already own, but I like to cross utilize. I have so many other journals. Like I said, my five year journal, this is a way that I get to go and, you know, specifically document it in there. And I kind of cross cross contaminate. <laughs> I want to say cross utilize, but I was like, I don't think that's it. Um, yeah, I kind of cross feed some of that information into different journals, cross, cross something, cross word that makes sense. There you go. You figure it out for me, please. I got to go. The sun is streaming through. It's ruining my video. Thank you for bearing with me. And uh, I'll see you again for Collage Club in December. I'm currently working on filming a bunch of videos to make sure that there's still content for you whilst I'm in Australia. But please stay with me on Instagram. I'm sure I'll be sharing everything as we go. It's a pretty relaxed kind of experience going home. Stella and Steve are going to be there as well. So you can follow along on their Instagram and see what they're sharing and what they're up to. But it should be wonderful. And I'd love to uh, bring you along for that journey as well. So hopefully I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.